Hello guys, welcome to Nitwala. So in this video, we will see about how to remember the table 4.2 of NCRT class 11 of Animal Kingdom without memorizing or marking it. So I will tell you the trick in this video. Before seeing this video, if you didn't subscribe for Nitwala, do subscribe and press the bell icon, like the video, do share it with your friends and uh, comment your idea below and if you want any chapters to be taught in the future, do comment below. So that your comment will be motivation to us. So we will move into the video guys. So this uh, table 4.2 is in the chapter of Animal Kingdom. It represents the salient distinguishing features of all phyla under the animal kingdom in a comprehensive way. I will tell you the way by which you can remember the complete trick, uh, complete table uh, without uh, any changes. Wait a minute. So, uh, what you should do is, you should remember the all phylums in an order. What the trick I used, uh, I, even though I know uh, English very well but uh, not Hindi that much. I remembered it in the Hindi mnemonic. I will tell you the meaning also. You can remember it easily. That is Priyanka. That is actress Priyanka Chali. That means going to Kannada. Pilot asked about a movie named English Hercules. So Priyanka for Porifera, uh, Chali for Silent Traitor Snederia, uh, Kannada for Tino Fora, Pilot for Platy Elementis. Asked for ASCII Helimanthis. So you can uh, Platy Helimanthis and ASCII Helimanthis. So there are four, uh, three A's. So remember, remember that uh, next day is like that. And then Anilida for uh, about Arthapoda for A. Movie for Moluska. Uh, English for uh, Echinodermata. Hercules for Hemicrodata. C. Hercules. C for Crodata. So you, should, you can remember this, uh, these phylums by this order. So that you will not uh, forget uh, at any point of time. Near future see i have uh, not read this thing uh, before i have uh, i have a gap now of about uh, four months four to six months after completing the date but i am remembering this mnemonic now and i telling you without uh, seeing anything so this is the thing you should remember the phylum in the order so that it will be useful for you to attend any question without any corrections uh, next you should uh, remember the horizontal points first is level of organization okay then yes CS symmetry CLM segmentation then DCR digestive system circuitry system respiratory system okay this is the thing you should remember A level of organization SCS yes, symmetry CLM segmentation DCR digestive system circulatory system respiratory system so we will see how to remember first thing is porifera so what you do is first level of organization you have to be clear with that thing the level of organization is First, Porifera is cellular, that you should remember, and uh, Snail and Trita and Tinophora are tissue type. The platinum is organ and organ system type. After that, uh, everything is organ system. So, we cannot alter anything after that. So, that is the thing. Okay. Uh, from next thing, I will tell you the trick. From symmetry, what you should do is after Stenophora, everything is bilateral. Before that, everything is radial mostly. But Porifera is asymmetrical, but uh, for remembering it uh, easily, after Tinophora, everything is radial. Sorry, bilateral thing. Next is going to coelum. After platy element is everything has coelum. Even the ascii element is has pseudo pseudo coelomate, but uh, everything is having uh, having a coelum. Okay. Next thing is segmentation. <coughs> After ascii element is everything has segmentation. Like that you remember, but. Uh, what is it uh, here? What is the thing is everything does not have segmentation after uh, ask element this only um, Anilida, Arthapoda, and Crodata has segmentation. You should remember that also. After that, thing majorly before that, nothing has nothing has segmentation. After that, three three phylums have segmentation uh, Anilida, Arthapoda, Crodata. You should remember this, it will be easy for you because in Crodata. You think like uh, if fish is having segment, sorry, uh, fish is have segmentation. Arthropoda crab is having segment, segment, segmently uh, having crab or lobster is having a segments, so segmentation. Anilida earthworm is having segmentation. Remember like that, so it will be they are having segmentations. Next, what is the what is the trend moving now? It is like this. Okay, it is uh, growing, uh, uh, growing gradually down. Like a graph from T no forward to ASCII element this. So you can remember it easily like this. Next, what you should do is digest system. After platy element this, everything will have complete digest system. Circulatory system. After ASCII element this, everything will have 
circulatory system respiratory system after anilida everything will have what uh, uh, respiratory system this is the trick what is the graph type going here this is also gradually down the same way as it done the uh, desk here so what you should do is from t no 4 if you start uh, take the curve down okay uh, symmetry coelom segmentation after that in the systems start from platyhelium in this okay take a graph down ascalum in this anilida uh, here digestive system circulatory system respiratory system so uh, it will be easy for you to remember everything so you have you can remember these all six points easily and i thought you the first point also you can remember it here distinctive features you should uh, remember only <coughs> by yourself so you should read uh, that things what are the distinct features i will also tell in this video body with pores porifera with canals and walls uh, cylindrated sinoblast so it's called cnidaria tino for a complex it has something about uh, eight or something complex for locomotion you should uh, remember it mainly plat element is it has flat body suckers so uh, next is ascii element is it is worm shaped elongated then anilida body segmented uh, the same thing segmentation here and arthropod exoskeleton uh, of cuticle jointed appendages it is the main point mollusca external skeleton of shell usually present echinodermata water vascular system radial symmetry there will be uh, water canal system in porifera here in echinodermata it is water vascular system that uh, that is water vascular this here it will be water canal system it will be given in ncert before hemicrodata i will show it also uh, hemicrodata worm like with proboscis collar trunk that is main feature crodata notochord will be present so only it is called crodata dorsal hollow no cord gill slits with limbs or fins that is the thing as i told you before water canal system is present in porifera in echinodermata it is uh, echinodermata uh, in echinodermata what is present water uh, vascular system is present so that is the thing this is the difference so you can remember the table like this as such so it will be easy for you to remember the thing uh, i will also show this table once this is the table so that if you want you can uh, take a screenshot of it and remember it easily with the trick if you like this video do like it so that will be a, a good motivating support for us and uh, do comment below that is uh, it will make made the day for us it will make the day for us so that uh, we'll get motivated through it and share it with your friends thank you guys